What's going on YouTube? This is the video for you if you love watching people eat a ton of carbs, if you love bodybuilding, fitness, or just working out in general, and or if you love cheat meals. Today we got all that in store, man, so I'm glad you guys clicked on it. Subscribe right now, and let's get right into the video. All right, you guys, so this is a full day of eating. This is a refeed day for me. I have been low carb for this is the 10th day right here. So low carb for nine days, I believe nine days. I'll put it on the screen if I'm incorrect, but I believe nine days. I've been low carb. I think my carbs have been nowhere above 50 grams. Taking it extreme a little bit, this is my carb cycling. When I first start carb cycling, which I started at the top of the year, I like to ease my way in and I got to go low carbs. And then I like to start implementing some refeed days. A good week and a half of low carbs. Now it's a refeed day. You see these delicious pancakes in front of me. I'll go ahead and post a reel on the screen right here. I went ahead and chopped it up for Instagram and cooked it all up and showed Instagram. So I'm not gonna do that here, but this is what we're looking like. This is already about 90 to 100 grams of carbs right here. Three servings of oats and we got some fruit right here. This is gonna be delicious. I got a ton of sugar-free syrup on there. So don't get it twisted. We're not going crazy on sugar, but what we do wanna do is make sure that after going low carb for so long that now we put these good carbs back into us. We're gonna have a few dirty carbs here and there because today I'm actually gonna have a cheat meal. So I can't wait. I'm actually going to get one of my favorite cheat meals later on in this video. So make sure you stick around for that one. Y'all make sure y'all tap in, man. Let's go ahead and get this first meal down and I'm gonna catch y'all at the next one. Sorry about that. Look, for the newbies out there, you guys might be like, what's going on? What's, what's he doing? What's it? Look. Let me clear things up for you. I'm right now in contest prep mode. I think I'm about 16 weeks out. Again, I'll put the correction on the screen if I'm wrong. I'm losing track of the weeks, man. I started this prep back in November, man. I think about 26 weeks out. So right now, 10 weeks in. Now I'm thinking about it, we're 16 weeks out. The shreds are coming. The progress is amazing. Nice, slow progress. Cardio is only 45 minutes. The training sessions are about 75 minutes. Now we're finally fine tuning the diet. So we're doing the carb cycling now. Before we were eating about 300 grams of carbs every single day, about 200 grams of protein. So uh, now we're kicking things off. Let me show you the physique real quick. Just a quick ab shot. Getting dicey, but it's all good, man. Look, that's just to fill you guys in. Contest prep, man. We jumping back on that stage, man. We getting that first place. So y'all rock with me. 16 weeks, man. Let's get it. All right, y'all. Before we hit the gym, I need to go grab a pre-workout meal. Uh, just something a little slight. I'm going to grab some sushi. I'm going to be at the commissary right now, the grocery store. Queen came home and she had to take a test for her class and no one could be in the room, let alone when well, you probably shouldn't even be in the house. So I took a fine time to go to the gym. But I rushed out the house so I couldn't even eat my meal that was at the house. I actually have some chicken prepped. I actually had some salmon, some potatoes, some rice. I had everything I needed, man, but I had to get out the house. So we here. All right, y'all, so this is what they got. I normally don't want to do the shrimp tempura style on a fry. I normally just keep it regular and get the California roll, which I don't see. They also got poke bowls, too. So here's a spicy roll. These things are actually pretty spicy. The sauce on there. Don't really want cream cheese for the gym. Got the veggies in there. All right, crunchy California it is. All right, y'all, here we go. Got some chopsticks. This is all they had, man. I prefer a fork, you know, to be completely honest with you, but this is all they had. I'm actually about to look up the macronutrients of a California roll, a crunchy California roll, because I actually don't know. Uh, but I know it's about 500, 600 calories total for these 10 pieces. There's 10 pieces in here. So like, uh, you could say what, two rolls maybe? Let me try to show you guys what one looks like before I butcher it all. All right, here we go. Pre-workout, 10 of these. The reason why this makes for a decent pre-workout meal is simply because of the carbohydrates inside of it. Light on the protein, heavy on the carbs. And it's good for a high carb day. All right, let's head to the gym. All right, y'all, I'm back from the gym. Had a good back session, set in the sauna. Didn't do cardio. I probably will go to the garage, do some cardio. Uh, but first, I'm gonna get this meal in right here. Just have seven ounces of boneless, skinless chicken breast with 150 grams of white rice. Real easy, simple. It's meal prep, so I encourage 
all of you to meal prep if you are struggling with getting your meals in you see i just came home put it in the microwave and i'm good to go man so i do encourage meal prepping it will take you some time to meal prep but the reward is so beneficial anyway let me find some condiments to put on here uh let's see we have no sugar we got the smoky sweet and smoky we got the original and we got some wing sauce we got some honey mustard right here i got no sugar everything um and which is good because I do want to still cut back on sugar, but at the same time, man, I want I want something good. But hey, it's been when you don't have nothing in your house, it's kind of hard to stay away from your diet, man. So we can go ahead and go with the original, man. Let me just do the original. Let me see if I got anything in the junk drawer. You know, junk drawer always got some good stuff. Nope, original it is. All right, y'all, we pulled up to Culver's. We got a small town, so Culver's is the best spot in the city. Jumping. There we go. We got two singles. I took the cheese off. But we loaded. Hey, boo, didn't you ask for some sauce? And they said they didn't have it. What sauce is that? Some called Boom Boom Sauce. Boom Boom Sauce. Oh yeah, we've been waiting for this for 10 days. I got two. Yeah. That's All right, y'all, last, last few bites. This right here, amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Got another one right there. So y'all going here, if you have a good meal plan, you don't need a cheat day, but that's not the case for bodybuilders. When you bodybuild, you will be following a more strict diet. You'll be taking out sugars, you'll be taking out certain ingredients, certain seasonings and things like that. So cheat meals are necessary for the bodybuilder world. So keep that in mind. But if you're just following, you know, fitness protocols and you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to get healthier. Yeah, create you some recipes where your food just tastes good all the time. All right, y'all, that is it for this vlog, this video right here. Last thing I'm gonna eat is gonna be some of these just to taste them out, man. I don't know who brought these to my house, but I'm going to try them just because. Oh, huh, your banana bought these? Oh, the kid's grandma bought these ones, right? So I'm gonna try these out just a little bit, but something slight. Uh, but that's it, man. That's it for this full day of eating. I want y'all to comment down below. Let me know your favorite cheat meal. Mine is burgers and fries. I love them, gotta have it. So I had a cheat meal today, I'll probably go another week or so uh, until another one man I, re I really like to see the physique change before i try to implement you know these cheap meals uh, but refeed days for sure coming for you uh, you guys make sure you check out some of the other videos and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one